Hey everybody, this is JSS96, back with another Transformers LEGO video. Or review, whatever. Um, that someone just made, uh, real quick, I'm gonna show how I put my, all my Transformers LEGOs. I, instead of putting it Autobots, or Autobots and Decepticons, it is now all my G1 and just random LEGO Transformers, and animated. Like a Transformers, I have Brow, Blitzwing, and Cybertron Mode Doctor Prime. So, now to add to the animated collection, it is Transformers Lego Animated Grimlock. So now I officially have G1 Grimlock and little, or well, big, bulky, uh, animated Grimlock, too. Which is pretty cool. Trying to position him, sorry. Um, I have to pull my camera back since he's so big. Um, a little bit weird looking, I know. It's like deformed and not very color accurate, but I used gray and everything. You know, there's a little bit of brown and red and stuff, but it's only a little bit of that. But as you can see, it's mostly just. Gray or in spots are a little bit of tan, it's supposed to be kind of gold and stuff. There's a little bit of red down there, but who really cares? Um, there's more black, red, and stuff. That's the big tail, which is pretty cool. It has a big pole in there, but you don't really notice that. But yeah, he has a pretty cool thing right there. He has a cool side. He has his feet with his two front claw things and the back one. Um, his big uh, T Rex legs. I know they're a little bit big, but oh well. But yeah. He has his big uh, head, the mouth and stuff. It's kind of open. It's like, oh, me, grabbing up a little fire. Like it doesn't show. I know a crappy Grimlock impression, but who really cares? And his head, I'm just gonna show the articulation. And, well, just the I know the robot mode head isn't very hidden, but I don't really care. It's a little bottom right there. And yeah, there's bottom view. Well, I'm just gonna show the articulation, like I said. Oh, and he also has his little tiny ro um or little tiny head hands. I know they're really super tiny and kind of hidden, which is kind of crappy, but I couldn't figure out any other way to put them, so don't tell me that they look really crappy, because I already know, and I had no other place to put them, so anyway, articulation, on uh, vehicle mode, or T-Rex mode, whatever you want to say, uh, his head can go all the way up there, down there, then his head can also move like that, so it has like two points of articulation in his neck and stuff, which is pretty cool. His legs can go all the way up here and back down. His legs, push that down, they can go 360 degrees or his feet. I think I said legs. I meant feet. Um, but yeah. His hands, his hands can't really move. I'm going to try to get a good shot of them. can't really see it. Anyway, so to transform him, pretty simple. All you do, there's a lot of ways you can do it, but yeah. First, what I like to do is, well, let's get the hands ready. So, not really that, it's not really that hard to transform him, it's pretty easy. So you just push your arms up a little bit, and you slide the little feet or heel things right there and close them in and do the same with the other one twist it around slide it up close it in so there you have his hands I know they're really crappy because they're kind of sideways but who really cares now he can claw people but yeah and then pretty cool automorph I think um you just the tail the two tail parts actually turn into his feet first what you want to do is you 
can just slide the little feet over like that. Just so there is feet. And you just kind of split it. It will automatically bend and everything. Or will turn and everything. You just have to push that up all the way. Make it sure it's like straight and everything. Just pretty cool automorph feature, I think. I mean, not too bad for a Lego Transformer. I mean, you don't see that many automorphs for that, so. And finally, just flip up the feet, which are not very uh, good looking, but who really cares? Again. Then you, know, you just have the hands now, they're done, and the feet, you can see, is kind of starting to form mode. Then you finally just pull the neck part until it can't go anymore, and then you push the head down as far as it can go. It kind of is sticking out, but there, finally, you have him in his robot mode. Well, uh, Transformers Lego Animated Grimlock in his robot mode. Which I don't think is his, um, I actually do think it's his better mode. At least my take on it. I mean, T-Rex mode's okay, I think, but the robot mode is pretty wicked. So, um, <clears throat> especially, of course, because he has his flame sword. Just like in the show. Which I think isn't too bad. It's just, it's pretty simple. It's just three pieces. You just, because in case that somebody wants instructions, you just take one of these flame parts, the end things, take one of these, try to get a good close up of that, you slide it on there. Then one of the really easy to get pieces, and these little stick parts, whatever, just slide it into the bottom of that. And there you have the flame sword. And I just knocked over Grimlock. If you knock him over his head, or his uh, T-Rex mode head might flip up a lot, but yeah. But like I said, there's his flame sword, which is pretty cool. It's like flames, like, they cut you, and I'm gonna burn you. I don't know, stupid, but um, there's also a little hole right there in his finger. No, it looks really crappy, but you just slide it right through there pretty easily. And there you have his flame sword in his hands. He can kind of just slice people. Eat your grimlock. It's fire. Ah, ah. And slice you with the wits. Yeah. Anyway, now for the articulation for the robot. Not as articulated. Well, probably actually even more articulated than uh, T-Rex mode. Keep getting things mixed up, mixed up. But yeah, I'm just gonna start with the feet. His feet can go all the way back there and forward and stuff. So his feet actually have pretty good articulation, amazingly. <laughs> For little feet. Oh uh, yeah, and the sword's removable if you want to, of course. But yeah, um, his fingers can go all the way out there and back in that way and stuff, and his hands can rotate 360 degrees around, because they're on the little spinny bases, which is pretty cool, so you can, like, stab people like that. Oh, and I forgot, his legs can also go side to side, which is pretty cool, like, he's dodging things. It's like Matrix. <sighs> which is, I think, pretty cool. Um, here we go. Then, yeah. Doesn't really have that much articulation other than that, but oh well. I think it's still pretty cool. So yeah. Then his arms can also go, as shown in the T Rex mode, and go all the way back there and back down. So he can be like, sword slashing action. And finally, his head. And go all the way back there and back down. Which I think his head's okay. The eyes and his mouthpiece. Can't move like the, my G1, like a Grimlock, but yeah. And he has his little kind of ear thingies, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, so there is my Transformers animated Lego Grimlock. Hope you guys enjoyed. Next, I will try to do, uh, I'm hoping to do a, um animated sound wave with the laser beak, which is. Very excited to do that, so I'll be working on that next. So I will see you guys later. This is JIDS96 signing out.